Brazil is dealing with the aftermath of yesterday's attack on government buildings by supporters of former far-right President Bolsonaro, who recently failed to get re-elected. Rioters stormed Brazil's Congress, Presidential Palace, and Supreme Court, causing widespread damage in scenes reminiscent of the January 6th Capitol insurrection here in America. Hundreds were arrested after police used tear gas to disperse the protesters. NBC News correspondent Guad Venegas joins us now for more on this. Guad, good morning to you. So, I mean, just some incredible pictures coming out of Brazil yesterday. Walk us through what happened here. Why did these rioters carry out this attack and what's the situation like right now? Joe, incredible images coming in overnight, all the videos from Brasilia. So, uh, as you mentioned, there's parallels between January 6th and what we saw in Brazil, although uh, completely unrelated. Uh, so, thousands of supporters of Bolsonaro arrived in Brasilia, in the area where the federal buildings are located. They stormed the congressional building, they stormed the Supreme Court and the presidential palace. Uh, we know now that they smashed windows, as you can see in these images. They destroyed furniture, pieces of art, as uh, federal officials said. Uh, eventually, the military did gain control. Now, these are supporters of Bolsonaro, who was the outgoing president, uh, who left Brazil before the handover of power to Lula da Silva. Uh, they claimed that there was issues with the election. There's, of course, no proof of that. And since then, uh, the president uh, has informed that uh, things are now secure in the capital. Uh, local officials, the governor said uh, there that at least 400 individuals have been arrested. And last night, President Lula da Silva said they will be investigating is behind. He claims there was financers and he claims there is people behind uh, these rioters that arrived uh, yesterday in Brasilia, Joe. God, Aguad, I mean, what has the global reaction been like to these riots, especially the White House? What is the White House saying, especially when you consider how much it's reminiscent of January 6th? Uh, Joe, strong support for Da Silva. The French president uh, showed his support, UN secretary, and of course, President Biden, all of them calling this an attack on democracy, showing full support for Lula da Silva, who has been in power for just days. In fact, when this happened yesterday, he wasn't in the capital, Brasilia. He was traveling throughout the country, assessing the damage that uh, recent rains had caused. He is now back in the country. The Supreme Court has ordered the military to take over. They are dismantling any protest uh, by Bolsonaro supporters across the country. Uh, so the, the military has taken control as they continue with what will be an investigation into what happened, Joe. And Guad, we understand Bolsonaro is in Florida right now. That's the state you're in right now. He left the country days before the new president was sworn in. What is he saying about yesterday's scenes? And talk to us about the growing calls to send him back to Brazil. Right, Joe. So uh, Bolsonaro uh, was upset, left Brazil before the handover of power to Lula da Silva, came to Orlando, Florida and has been appearing on social media videos for the last few days, taking photos with supporters in Orlando. He comes out every day, people line up in a suburb where he's staying, and they take photos. He's got a lot of supporters of Brazilian Americans or Brazilians who are in the state of Florida who are coming to see him. Meanwhile, this was happening in Brazil. Now, Bolsonaro did tweet at some point yesterday that he uh, storming the Capitol the way they did, entering buildings is wrong, but it was a very ambiguous tweet. He made reference to other protests. He said, we're done by the left. Uh, later on, he also tweeted saying there's no proof that would link him to what happened. Uh, and, and that's essentially where he's at as he is still in the state of Florida. Joe. All right, Guad, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.